The idea is that this serves as a living laboratory for kids to come in and learn about biology or chemistry, microbiology, anything science related, but also the sale of the produce. It could be business and marketing. But we serve as a laboratory where kids can come in, learn, eat. I think it'll be something that every school will want, and that's what we want to do is put one in every school. So there's 110,000 schools out there, so we've got a lot of work to do. Bag the lettuce like this. It's easy if you hold the, the plastic in your hand and then just roll it up. Okay, so then in all these empty holes here, uh -huh. I'll give you the ones to oh, plant, okay. okay? You can just, yeah, exactly. As long as their roots are gonna hit the water, they'll be fine. You can pull on it as tight as you can all the way to the string, and if you ever need to get it loose, you just pull that off and it comes in done. This is a greenhouse that's 30 foot by 60 foot at uh, Felton High School, San Lorenzo Valley High School in Felton, California. Yeah, I'll describe the system. So this is called aquaponics. And if you want to look over there in the corner, there's a fish tank there that's a temporary. And in here, uh, we have about 200 catfish. We can do a number of other critters too. Koi and carp and goldfish, or whatever kind of fish you'd like to have, we can put in these systems. We feed the fish, the fish waste in the water, and the water is transported through all the beds providing nutrients to the roots. So these fish are always putting off ammonia, which is constantly being converted into nitrates, and that gives us a constant source of fertility for this whole entire system that's organic. So it leaves the fish tank a little mucky and dirty and full of nutrition, and it comes back to the fish tank all clean and purified. Harvest in the morning when it's, when it's cool out, especially in the summer, so this has to be done first thing in the morning, um, so the plants don't wilt before they go to market. came together with a lot of volunteers and the way we designed this, this thing was to be done pretty quick and on site. It opens it up to a wider group of volunteers that can come help out and feel like they're a part of it. Even the students themselves were cutting and nailing and putting this whole thing together. Within a month and a half this thing was up. We're still putting up the siding and the roofing. So everything that's in here has been planted within, within the last uh, two months. We've got about 300 plus seedlings if everything works okay. The seedlings grow in a mix of compost and vermiculite. So you can see um, it looks like soil, but it's just a grow media to make these little plugs. So we can pop them out and then just drop them in the rafts. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can grow root vegetables in aquaponics. So um, we've got carrots and beets over here. And you can just go in, move the lava rock around a little bit, and see how big your carrots and beets are getting. So the, the root just goes down to hit the water. The water is filled up to about, about to here. So this is a uh, lava rock, and the roots just go through it. They grow around it and, and down to meet the water level. So no soil. They can come in and with their hands and with their eyes and a microscope slide, they can physically see, touch, feel, and observe microbiology, water chemistry, water conservation, agriculture, business. The greenhouse itself, by the way, that we build is, is designed so that once it's up and operational, it actually produces enough vegetables and fish and mushrooms and microgreens to support itself without being a burden to the school. If we really truly want to teach sustainability, then the concept has to be sustainable by nature. And anything that's not financially stable, financially self-supporting, is not sustainable. Each box of produce, by the way, has about 10 items of leafy greens, plus some root crops, some tomatoes, cucumbers, and some herbs. And coming soon here, some microgreens and some mushrooms. I like carrots. Carrots and beets. Carrots. Oh, oh my god, yes, yeah, carrots. <laughs>